Hi, I'm Malachi Greb, CEO, engineer of Elite Automation, at Elite Automation, however you want to call it. So today, we're going to go ahead and do another voiceover. I'm going to take you all through the Mirror Dashboard. And essentially, the Mirror Dashboard, what it is, is an HMI that is uh, local to the Mirror. It's on its web-based uh, software. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the uh, actual web-based software and show you how to navigate to the uh, to the dashboard and show you how to edit it and show you a couple little things uh, as far as different commands and buttons and stuff that you can add to the dashboard. So we just started out on a random screen. Uh, this is the drop drop off elite automation conveyor. Uh, it's a program that we just created and one of the things we'll do is we'll add that button. So we went over here to the dashboards and so after your dashboards load, so you can see right here you can either draw or you can edit. Uh, the edit is just going to mainly take you into the name of the dashboard. There's really not uh, much you can do here, but you want to design the dashboard. So the Elite Automation one is the one that we've uh, created. There's a default da dashboard as well. And so the default is just kind of like something that they set up and sent with the, with the mirror whenever it comes from the factory. So I think it's definitely very good for you to go ahead and develop your own uh, dashboard because these tools uh, make it much easier to be able to operate this thing and program this thing. So uh, this right here is a mission button. Uh, this particular mission right here is charge. Uh, so basically you press this button and the, the mirror will go and charge. So essentially this is just commanding the mirror to go to a position. And then here's another mission button here. This is a relative move forward. And then another mission button, this is a relative move reverse. So these relative moves, you're basically saying move X amount of space. So I think I had these set at 0.2 meters. Uh, so you could press that button and the mirror would move 0.2 meters. So that way you didn't have to keep putting the thing in manual. That's an automatic feature. So you could press that button once, it'd move 0.2 meters forward, it'd move 0.2 backwards. So this is the mission button like I mentioned before. Uh, to create a mission button, you go over here to missions, and you'll see the second one down, there's mission button. So, uh, you'll select that mission button, and it'll auto-populate it. It always auto-populates to the bottom, so that's where they'll go. Um, at first, it's kind of confusing. You're like, where did it go? Uh, but it always populates at the bottom. Uh, this little draw icon right here, it indicates the what mission you're applying to the uh to the mission button. So you create all these different programs. As you can see here, we have a huge list of, of programs. Uh, some of them are actually already pre-installed on the mirror. Uh, I'd say at least half of them that we created. And so we created this one that says drop off part at Elite Conveyor. So Elite Conveyor is the conveyor we installed. And the objective behind this is that you press drop off so that way if the mirror ever stops with a part on it, you can have it go ahead and drop that part off before it does a cycle start and goes back to the beginning of the program. Because if you're not using the fleet system, uh, it can be a little bit tricky on how to go about programming these. Um, you'd need a lot more communication and do wireless, a lot more wireless communication to um, pass enough data back and forth handshaking wise to, to do what you need to do. And also a lot of these people just want to deploy these with a uh, with the mirror user interface versus having to add a bunch of auxiliary uh, hardware and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and save this here. Uh, so this just basically saves it. Uh, Ask you if you want to leave and you just say yes. Um, and, and that's just confirming your save basically. So here's what the actual dashboard looks like live. So you can see it looks a lot more user interface wise. Uh, so I, we just actually pressed the drop off elite conveyor. And so that's what the robot's doing right now is it's heading over to that conveyor. That's the, our conveyor position. To the left top here, you have what the uh, actual missions are executing. So you see those four individual boxes. It gives you a timestamp. It tells you what the what the command is that it's doing or what the process is that it's doing because it doesn't necessarily give you a command per se. Some of it's like background process stuff that's going on. Um, and then you can see also uh, on this larger box right below it that it is doing the same thing. It is essentially telling you these are more so of the commands of what it's doing and uh, you can see like the distance of how far it is from the place that it's traveling to. Um, and, and, and now you can see 
more actively that the like the green buttons they're your mission buttons uh and, and our actual buttons as you can see right here towards the bottom right you have uh io and so those ios uh can either be your wise modules they can be your internal ios and these are just for observation uh you don't necessarily have to have these on here by any means um it's just more so for a troubleshooting type of thing and to be able to see the statuses of the different I.O. points. Then to the bottom left, we obviously have the big map. So this is the virtual map and, and what, you're, what it looks like whenever you're moving this thing around, when you're programming it. Um, this is the map that you'll see. Now you can either do this, uh, there's another map menu you can go to or you could just do everything from this, uh, this here map. And you have a bunch of different controls uh, at the top right of that and the top left of it uh, to basically be able to do different things like add buttons, correct the robot's position, things along those lines. Uh, maybe we'll be able to get out another video that kind of goes deeper into the uh, programming the robot's path and programming positions and things along those lines. Uh, so yeah, if this video was useful for you guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Put some comments down below letting us know what you'd like to see for future videos. And if there's anything that pertains to the mirror in particular that you'd like to know, just let us know. Um, yeah, so it's been a good one, guys. Catch you on the next one. Anything I want now, I bring it to fruition. I'm my own boss now, I make my own decisions. I do not agree to the terms and conditions. I don't ever follow other people, I just follow intuition. Tunnel vision when I get up in the zone. Never needed nobody, did it on my own.